Funny. This is Mike from the Pratt Family Homestead. Let's check out my heated 55 gallon chicken and duck water. Let's check it out. Here's my water right here. Got put these horizontal nipples at the bottom of a 55 gallon barrel. And got one of these submersible heaters from TSC. What are these? 40, 40 bucks at TSC maybe? And I had to cut a little extra notch in there. And it just goes down in there, stays in there. I screw this cap back on. And no matter how cold it got this winter, negative 10, negative 20, water in there never froze. Uh, there's one thing uh, <laughs> my wife and I hate doing for some reason, it's hauling water. Hate it. So this eliminates a lot of water hauling, uh, especially since we had about plus 10 chickens uh, over the winter. We just, we just butchered uh, nine or 10 roosters. We got about 30 laying hens and six ducks in here now. But those horizontal nipples, we originally kept extra water just for the ducks to drink until we saw that they were utilizing those. We were very surprised. Uh, we do still keep a bucket of water for them to bury their faces in though. So the other thing I did, and I'm going to get this water turned on here in a minute, is I just took some old fencing and I put it up here to keep them from jumping up here and roosting. I actually want to kind of redo this and dress it up a little bit one day, but uh, the other thing I did is I put a spigot right here uh, into this lid with an old uh, washer hose that I had so it has two female ends. And then whenever this thing needs to be filled, which is not very often, not very often at all, I've got two of these 50 foot uh, stretchy or what, shrinkable hoses. Love these things. I got a hundred foot running out here and it's to its max right now because we do not have running water at the barn. Two of those 50 footers coil up into a uh, five gallon bucket, no problem. So I've already got this line charged. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and uh, maybe get some more video of the ducks and the chickens drinking out of it to show you. But it's gonna take a while to fill up. But uh, one reason I like this is uh, it, the hose isn't gonna fall out and spray everything. Now, obviously I do need to keep an eye on stuff and uh, make sure it doesn't overflow. You might see this bundle of tape right here. What I tried doing was making it so this couldn't fall in here. Uh, I wasn't very successful. I'm actually gonna put, I don't know, a, something here, I don't know. I didn't do it all winter and I keep talking about doing it, but I haven't, so. Uh, that's it. That's the fi uh, 55 gallon heated chicken and duck water. So since we're in the chicken coop and the water's filling, might as well do a little chicken coop selfie. This hen right here next to me, and then there's a rooster. But this hen was one of our first three hens that we got. She and her buddies, when we got them, we did not live out on this homestead, farm, farmstead, whatever you want to call it. But we got these three gateway animals, and then it was all my fault. Now we're on 10 acres. We're calling it a homestead, trying to be self-sustaining. And we got 30 chickens, 28 hens, two roosters, six ducks, four hens, two drakes, a couple sheep, a couple goats, getting a horse. We've already ran through some pigs. Gateway animals, beware. Oh yeah, beware. This is Mike from the Pratt Family Homestead. Thanks for checking out my watering system here for the chickens and ducks. Uh, if you see what you like, go ahead and subscribe. Hit like. Please share videos with your friends. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks.